Children, what am I doing right now? Yes, I am playing with Mr. Sheru. And what is playing here in the sentence? Yes, you are right. It is an action word or a doing word. It tells you what am I doing. I am playing with Mr. Sheru. So playing is an action word or a doing word. Now tell me what is the other name for action word? Yes, you are right. It is verb. A verb is a word that tells you what someone or something is doing. For example, what am I doing? I am drinking water. So what is the verb here? Drinking because it tells what am I doing? What am I doing? Yes, I am eating almonds. So eating is a verb in the sentence. So eating, drinking, dancing, moving, playing, cleaning, reading, writing are all action words or verbs. They tell us what someone or something is doing. Now children, when I say I am eating, eating here is an action word. Right? That's what we have discussed. And what is I here? I is a pronoun. Why am I using this pronoun? Because I'm talking about myself. So when I am talking about myself, I will use which pronoun? I. So I is a pronoun. Eating is a verb. Now what about am? What is am doing here in the sentence? It's a helping verb. Let's talk about helping verbs now. Dear children, helping verb is a verb that comes before the main verb in a sentence. For example, as I said, I am eating. Now, eating here is an action word. It's the main verb. It is telling us about the action done. So, what is coming before eating? Am. Am comes before eating. I am eating. So, am here is a helping verb. It is telling us about the main verb. Right? So, don't you think that without a helping verb, our sentence is incomplete? Can I say I eating? No, I have to say I am eating. So, am is a helping verb. Let's say she is dancing. Now, dancing is the main verb here, right? It is telling us about the action done. But what is coming before dancing? Is. And what is is here? It's a helping verb. It is telling us about the action, the main verb. Right? Dear children, here is an interesting story of helping brothers and is are. This story will help you to create a better understanding about helping verbs. Once upon a time in a town called Helping lived three brothers, Am, Is, Are. They had different hobbies. Am was very shy. It had only one best friend, that is I. So Am liked to hang around only with I. For example, I am doing my work. Now you see, children, here Am is hanging around with whom? Am is hanging around with I because I is Am's best friend. So I am doing my work. Let's see the second sentence. I am going to a party. What am I doing? I am going to a party. Now going here is the main verb. And what is coming before the main verb? Am. Am is coming before the main verb. So what is am here? It's a helping verb. And this helping verb am hangs around with whom? Only with I. So I am going to a party is the complete sentence. I am looking so pretty. Can you see that am only hangs around with I? Now let's talk about the second helping brother that is is. Is liked to hang around with singular objects. So is had a great bonding with all the singular person, animal, place or a thing. And the pronouns that are used with this helping verb that is is are he, she, it and even this, that. Why do we use these pronouns with this helping verb? Because they are all talking about or pointing at singular person, place, animal or a thing. He talks about a single male. She talks about a single female. It talks about a single, single thing. And this and that talk about objects, singular objects which are near or 
far. Now, children, let's take some examples. It is a beautiful dress. Now, what is the helping verb here? Yes, is is the helping verb in the sentence. We are using is because we are talking about only one thing that is a dress. She is writing a letter. Now again we are talking about whom? We are talking about one girl. And that is why we have used pronoun she. And what is she doing? She is writing a letter. Writing here is the action done. So it's the main verb. And what comes before the main verb? Helping verb. So what is the helping verb here? Is. Is is the helping verb. And here we are only talking about one person. She is playing piano. Now whom are we talking about? We are talking about one person here. That's one female. So the pronoun used here is she. And what is she doing? She is playing piano. Playing is the main verb. What comes before the main verb? Helping verb. So can you tell me what is the helping verb here? Yes, it is is. Similarly, that is a boat. She is not wearing the hat are some other examples of the helping verb is. Now let's talk about the next helping brother that is are. Are liked to hang around with all plural naming words. That means when we talk about more than one person, place, animal or a thing. And the pronouns used will be we, they and we can also use these or those when we are, talk, we are pointing at more than one person, place, animal or a thing near or far away from us. Let's take some examples. We are going to a party today. Now children, in this sentence we are talking about more than one person, right? So the helping verb used here is are. Also notice that going is the main verb. Why it is the main verb? Because it is telling us about the action done. What are they doing? They are going to a party. So, the helping verb is used just before the main verb. Those are very big trees. Now, in this sentence, the boy is pointing at the trees far away from him. And he's talking about more than one tree. So, the helping verb used here is are. These are my books. Again, the boy is pointing at the books that are close to him. And he's talking about more than one book. So the helping verb used here is are again. Similarly, they are going with their parents. Now the last sentence, you are a good boy. Now children, pay attention to the sentence. There is a new word here, you. Children, we always use you with are. They both are best friends. That means you will always go with are. You are a good boy. You are a caring mother. You are an amazing person. You are a hard-working teacher. You are an intelligent boy. Now, children, if you remember the story of Helping Brothers is MR. Remember, they lived in a town called Helping? Commendable. That means you pay attention to all the details. So, children, we learn that Am is very shy and liked to hang around only with I. Both of them are best friends. So let's see some examples how we can use I and am together in a sentence. I am a boy. I am five years old. I am playing football. Now children, whenever you want to talk about yourself, you are going to use which pronoun? I, right? And I hangs around only with am. So remember, I and am will always go together. Now let's talk about the next helping brother that is is. Is liked to hang around with all the singular naming words. That means one person, place, animal or a thing. And the pronouns used with the helping verb is are he, it and she because they all talk about only one person, place, animal or a thing. For example, he is my friend. Now in the first sentence I am talking about one male friend, right? I can say male friend because the pronoun mentioned here is he and he is only used for males. So here I am talking about one person so the respective helping verb used will be is. I cannot say he my friend. I have to use is here to make my sentence meaningful and complete. 
Again in the second sentence, she is my teacher. Teacher, one teacher, right? I'm talking about one female teacher. So the helping verb used will be is. It is a bag. Now I'm referring to one bag, right? One thing. It's a singular naming word. So the helping verb used will be very good. Is. And then comes the next helping brother, are. Now are hangs around with only plural naming words. That means more than one person, place, animal or a thing. And the respective pronouns used with this helping verb are we, you and they. Let's see how we can use them in a sentence. We are dancing. Now children, in this sentence we are referring to more than one person, right? There are many people who are dancing. And dancing is the main verb in the sentence, right? The action word. And we all know that helping verb always comes before the main verb. So what is the helping verb here? Are. And why are we using are? Because we are talking about more than one person. Commendable. You are beautiful. Now we know that you is always used with which helping verb? Are. So you are beautiful. They are running. Again we are talking about more than one person, right? See, many people are running here. So, the respective helping verb used is are. And it is used just before the main verb that is running. 